Good morning. It is time for Tina Book Tuesday, episode 23 with Lisa Prysock. And I'm so glad you're here. I hope you have a few minutes to chat with me. I am drinking a cup of Earl Grey this morning. And I also have an apple cinnamon brioche um, slice of bread for breakfast. And I'm just really looking forward to... Of Friday's release. I'm releasing The Legend of Lollipop for the Whispers and Wyoming group uh, for that series this coming Friday. So I've been setting up some advertising and sharing it with some of my um, beta readers, and I'm just so excited about this story. I wanted to share a few things with you this morning that would make it a more enjoyable read for you. For starters, uh, one of the characters in the book, his name is Landon, and he his character was kind of inspired um, by an American horse trainer named Wayne Lucas, who's who's pretty well known in America, and um, then also you'll get to meet Riley. Riley was inspired by a little girl that I saw, um, in a human video or a a music video actually for one of, I think it's Brett Nicole's videos and it's called Pave. Um, but there's a little girl in the video and anyways, she inspired me for the character of Riley. So I'm looking forward to you, um, meeting those characters and, Um, Another thing, some of my research about quarter horses versus um, thoroughbreds, because there are quarter horses in this story, and I didn't know a lot about them when I started writing it. I knew little. Um, Logan owns mostly quarter horses, for instance, in this story. Um, Thoroughbreds, which the Kentucky Derby just kicked off here, the festival for the Kentucky Derby kicked off this Saturday with um, what we call the Thunder Over Louisville fireworks thing. And um, they have this huge show. It's one of the largest shows in the country. I think it's the first or second largest fireworks shows in the country. And for the next two weeks, basically leading up to the Derby, we have all kinds of festivals and parties and concerts and um, things like that going on. Well... Thoroughbreds race in that, uh, the Kentucky Derby, and then for the Triple Crown, the the Preakness and the Belmont Stakes. These are long-distance horses that originated in England. They can basically run like a mile and a quarter to a mile and a half races. Um, Their timing starts after a little bit of a run-up after they come out of the gate. And basically, they're long-distance racehorses. Quarter horses are stronger and a little bit stockier and shorter. They are made for, like, short sprints. And their timing starts right out of the gate. They generally run, like, 350 to 440 yards. Um, To win the Triple Crown for quarter horse racing, there's, like, six races they go through. A Rudo, so Futurity, and there's... Trials for that. They take the top 10 out of that race. They go on to the rainbow trials. The top 10 go on to the rainbow um, futurity. And then they take those winners and the top 10 go on to the all-American futurity. And a cool thing about um, this is then after the all-American, they decide if there's a winner for the um, triple crown out of all six of those races and this purse for that for that race generally pays more than the thoroughbred triple crown so that's pretty interesting I hope you enjoyed some of those details Um, I hope you enjoyed the book when it releases on Friday and um, in other news I am reading a book by an author friend of mine Hallie Bridgman who This is called An Aria for Nick. And there you can see the beautiful cover. And I started reading this this week after I finished The Lace Maker. And um, absolutely enjoying the book so much. 
I think I read the first 100 pages all in one sitting because I couldn't put it down. And so I'm looking forward to finishing the book. And um, it's a romantic suspense story. So it's awesome. And I also wanted to mention I've been downloading all these workout apps to try to be more diligent with my working out. So I get these little um, messages that say, it's time to work out now. Um, but in one of the apps, I can record workouts that I do. And another one gives you um, different types of routines that you can do. And another workout app lets you map walks that you take in your neighborhood, for instance, or other places. So got a couple of new apps to tinker around with. And, um, I'm looking forward to Easter. I'm, I've already bought my Easter ham and I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you have a great week. I enjoyed our Palm Sunday service so much. It was so inspiring to me and I'm happy that Courtney's home safe from her trip, her mission trip. I know it's an unforgettable experience for both her and us, but I'm really glad that she's on the ground and happy that she's home. She's going to be working, speaking of the Derby and horses, um, she's going to be working over um, in the Lexington area. So I'm excited for everything going on right now. It's just going to be an awesome week, and I hope you have one too. I hope you have a great week, and keep me in your prayers for a smooth release and give me a shout out if you saw this video. Love you guys.